Thank you so very much. Uh, it's very meaningful for me to be here today. I, yes, I work in entertainment and media. I've been doing it for, for decades. According to IMDb, I'm still 35 years old, and I'm going to go with that. So some of you here know that that's not necessarily the case, but whatever. Um, I, I've been hearing a lot of our elected officials here speaking about what is happening with anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism is a term that to me and to tragically to so many others doesn't quite have the same meaning that it was meant to be. But so many words change, vernacular changes. And in fact, when we look at the term of anti-Semitism, it was coined by a German psychologist who was trying to define this thought process of hating Jews. So why are we using this word that fits, that comes from our oppressors, from our victimizers? So when I was asked and offered to join the End Jew Hatred Movement, one of the things that spoke to me was the fact that it used our vernacular today saying Jew hatred, exactly what it means. We must call it out. That's why we have hashtag end Jew hatred. Now, why the hashtag? Uh, some of our, our previous speakers spoke about the need for a safe space. As an artist, as a creative in television, in film, in theater, and even in news media, I use the term safe space all the time. This is a safe space where I should be allowed to safely be who I am. Yuval David, an actor, host, filmmaker, Jew, gay, bi, queer, Zionist, Israeli, American, uh, mama's boy, uh, proud, you know, husband, all of the things that define who I am, all of my identity. I am all of me all the time. And nobody can point out one and say, you are not allowed to be that in this space. That is what a safe space should be. But I'm challenging all of you to change a safe space into a brave space where not only are you in the space, but what are you doing in that space? What are you doing to ensure that it's not only a safe space for the others there, but a brave space for them to be who they are and how they are? This morning on social media, I received almost a dozen hateful Jew-hating messages on my Instagram, on my YouTube. Actually, in YouTube, the message to me was the only place you should be a creator or the only place you should be a content creator is in the crematorium. Uh, last week, I had yet another Holocaust reference. Just you wait, you faggot Jew. The trains are coming for you. These are messages that I get regularly. But I have my safe space. I have my brave space. I create safe and brave spaces. And I'm part of organizations like the End Jew Hatred Movement. I connect with elected officials and I remind them that I represent you just as much as you represent me. We are in this together. I have that awareness. I have that brave confidence. But I think of the people who receive these hateful messages, the bullying, the victimization, and the violent attacks against them. And they don't have that confidence that I've been trained tragically to have myself. And that's why I joined the End You Hatred movement beyond my career in entertainment and media, saying I cannot only speak out and create social media videos and write articles. I need to empower other people to be stronger than I am. I used to be that younger generation. The years are going by. My IMDb age isn't exact. I need to empower people like the students who are here so they can be on campus and demand that safe and brave space. And if they don't get it, to create it. So when people on Berkeley are creating these Zionist free zones, or in the panel discussion that I was part of this past weekend, where somebody raised their hand and said to me, Yuval, I really like the work that you do. You're an inclusion activist, but I'm troubled by your being here. And I leaned in and I said, really? I mean, thanks for the compliment, but..." Why are you troubled by me? I mean, I'm an inclusion activist. I, I want to include you in this. What is troubling? And she said, I didn't finish talking. I said, OK, sorry. She said, you are obviously Zionist and openly Jewish. And I said, wait, wait, wait. She said, I'm not done talking. I said, no, I just don't know if I heard what you said. Um, would you mind repeating that? 
And she said, with pleasure. Yuval, you are obviously Zionist and openly Jewish. And I said, wait, wait, what? what? She said, did you not hear me? I said, can you just say it one more time? She said, yeah, you're obviously Zionist and openly Jewish. I said, now I am going to officially interrupt you. One, you're correct. I am obviously Zionist and openly Jewish. But what, what I struggle with, what challenges me, is I've been referred to as openly gay. That's something I understand what it means. It's part of our vernacular. But have you called somebody openly black or openly Asian or openly Christian or openly Muslim? Like, wh how is that an acceptable thing to say? And I said, your tone and the way that you're approaching me, telling me about my identity, feels like an attack. It feels vicious. It feels like you're accusing me of doing something wrong for being who I am. We are no longer in the eras that we can wait in the corners shuddering and, and being afraid of our victimizers. We are the ones who need to end Jew hatred. We are the ones who need to reach out to our elected officials and say, you must proclaim this. Because yes, I have my voting power, but I also have the power to run for office. I also have the power to be just as involved in this country and in other countries around the world and create the change that we need to see, but to create the change that allows us to be who we are, how we are, all of us, all the time. I thank you all for being here. And you know what? Before I, I pass this microphone away, everybody here has a cell phone on them, yes? I would like all of you right now to take out your phone. Right, right now, let's do it. I, I'd pull out my phone, but it's filming the live stream. Pull out your phone and turn it on to the video camera setting. You're doing a selfie right now. Right now, I'd like you to look at your phone, press record, and say, I am Yuval David, or say your name, don't say my name, say your name. I, say your name, want to end Jew hatred, or I will end Jew hatred. Let's just do it right now. Go for it, let's do it. All right, I see some of you could use a take two. Let's do it again. Don't be afraid to be loud because this is a movement. A movement does not happen when people are quiet and silent and afraid. Let's do one more. Pull out your phones. Record again, take two. Okay. I invite you, I implore for you to post that video. The amount of hate speech that is happening so openly and so freely has one other answer. Hate speech is protected. I support that. But my response to hate speech is more speech. The video that you just filmed right now is the more speech that we need. So please post that video. Use hashtag and Jew hatred. Use 30 hashtags, as many as you can, because I need you just as much as you need me. Thank you so much.